at that deer. Damn. Okay, it's time to take this apart. Um, and then I'm gonna put the RC here with the Canon 300 millimeter and the CT80 for testing. Skies are looking blue and uh, that's a good sign for tonight. Okay, I got it mounted and this this test setup is going to be for just RGB. Okay, this wire is not for the meek and right now I'm trying to use the Astro Zap, Astro Zap and get it all hooked up here on a mirror and I just got it hooked up here on the uh, CT80. Okay, it's a cold crisp night and uh, I'm guided off the Capella Star. And I'm using the, uh, the Charlie Tango 80, the, which is the Orion guide scope right over here. You can't see it. Um, I just came out here to make sure with the temperature is dropping. See that? I have to use the Orion extension tube just to get focus. I'm going after Messier 33. As you can see there, I got the heat straps going on. I fully extended out at 300 millimeters. Um, Kerner's R. So, my guidings are pretty good so far. Um, testing out at 800 ISO at um, one minute exposure. Okay, so. I tried all the way clock counterclockwise. Now I'm gonna hit the fast aerial to go clockwise and watch the screen. And watch the number get lower. I'm going from a twenty. See that see that? That's that's pretty cool. Um let me zoom in and let me do some back focus a little bit. I'm going counterclockwise, right? I'm at a 44. Now I'm at a. I'm going counterclockwise with this small step backwards. Man, this is better than Moonlight Focuser. Look at this. Okay, um, just got focus off a of Capella Star, and I tried it. My first attempt was at Messier 33, but that was way too small. So I thought I'd try a bigger target, and. Um, I'm trying Andromeda Galaxy because it's bigger, so. And here's what it looks like. That's right there in RGB at 45 seconds and um, at ISO 800. Now, as I zoom in, uh, let's see, let's pick this bright star right there. That looks, that's not a star, that's a galaxy, but um, the guiding on it, and plus it's windy and it's snowing outside. Well, it's not snowing, but it's uh, the snow reflection, and with the half moon tonight, that's what my image looks like. Go into luminance, and uh, that's, let's see, that's what it looks like. So, I'm able to achieve focus using the um, Backyard EOS. Once that's done, um, I was able to uh, do Sequence Generator Pro here, and then what I'll do is I'll run it through. CT80 here is really struggling with the wind. Um, not only that, this the moon, the half moon is out, and uh, ugh, the CT80 is really struggling as a guide scope, and. For its guiding, I'm using the Orion uh, tube extender, 
because I wasn't able to get focus without it, so for guiding. So the weather is pretty windy and uh, yeah. And CT80 is really struggling the guy. <laughs> but it's windy outside and it's cold. Okay, that's NGC nineteen seventy six. It's plate solving right now with the meridian flip. And there it's failing, but it's still plate solving in the center. It's doing its capturing. Fourteen degrees outside, and yeah, I am not gonna be able to get that NGC's 1976 with damn trees in the way. Mm -hmm. 